All right, here we go. All right. What? Oh, yeah. All right, so still morning of our first day here on this trip, and we just rode, took a little break after taking our first ride on the new trail Dirt Beaver, which I didn't record the first half. So we're going back down again, and hopefully the recording's on this time. So you may be able to tell it looks pretty cold because the weather was getting down to like freezing overnight on this visit. And the other thing to note is this was also the first day riding my new bike, the Giant Trans X29. Really like that. Yep. Okay, the entrance to Der Beaver is just to the right here of the lift. As you can see, Aiden rushing off into it. He just takes off flying. Snowshoe recently announced the opening of this trail uh, a few weeks ago before we rode it. Um, I think different parts have been open for a while. Oh yeah, actually, the adjustment to my air, I can already tell. Much better. A little more compliance. I'm commenting about the fact that I had lowered my air pressure in both my shock and my fork after riding earlier in the morning where it seemed a little stiff. As mentioned, it is on a new bike and I'm still adjusting my setup. Coming up on the right here, you'll see some flags for a side jib gap jump. And as you'll notice throughout the trail, there'll be a variety of B options just like that that uh, riders can take advantage of. Right up here next to the right, you see a rock section you can enjoy. Quickly followed by another bridge. There are a lot of them on this trail. And again, a B option on the right. Yeah, good. Ah, awesome. Careful, Aiden. We also did the air pressure in his tires when we did my suspension, as he referenced. <laughs> Look at him. So this is the uh, top half, which I failed to record the first time we went down. <laughs> really cool. These are some big berms. Steep turn. So the first section of the trail was basically a straight traverse across the top. This middle section here is a lot of back and forth, flowy berms. Very cool. What? Oh, 
I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. It's a. I'm gonna stop at the last one of these, like, uh -huh. and then I'm gonna just go. All right. Have fun. Well, I'll see you before tomorrow. Okay. This lower section of the trail, it crosses a bunch of the Black Diamond Ladder Trails. You can actually enter in and do short sections of them if you wish. <laughs> Slippery! As you ride through this section, you've got a bunch of little techie spots. And it's such a contrast to up top where you had a bunch of flowy berms and a lot of different bridges. Well, you still have bridges here, but it's what makes this trail great. It's such a good variety. A mixture of the flow and the tech and the rocks and the bridges. Really like it a lot. Steep one. If you look to the right here as we cross the entrance to Trail G, you see that wood obstacle there. It looks pretty crazy. Yeah, that's a hard section. more B options just like up top. <laughs> Another bridge. Lots of bridges. They're cool. Long bridge. This is the best berm on Dirt Beaver. So cool. Really fast section. Not for me, but for everybody else. The rest of the trail finishes out here with a nice long flowy section where you can really get comfortable and get some speed once you're familiar with it.
mud. Hopefully it didn't get on the camera. And that wraps up Dirt Beaver. It's a great trail. Whew. That was so much fun. <laughs> great. I did both of the big jumps. Awesome. I kind of remember it being longer because I thought that there was a third, like a uh, one of these, uh -huh. before we made it to the bottom, but... Very good. So do you want to do that one one more time or do Skyline? Well, let's think about it on the way up. In summary, just love that trail. So anyways, thanks for riding with this old guy today. If you watched all the way to this far, please like and subscribe. I will post a link of the video for the review of my new bike and also for another ride from this trip.